Okay, our next problem, again, is H problem. Uh, ito yung mga difficult na problems. Uh, galing to sa black book ni Engineer Kim Well Suyat. So, kung gusto ng mga magagandang problems doon uh, about mathematics at saka iba pang topic, bili kayo ng black book. Uh, so, this problem, difficult H problem. Yung, yung sinolve natin before was yung mga problem na sinosolve ng mga, na, mga teachers sa klase. At ito namang problem na to yung mga binibigay sa exam. Tingnan natin. Jose is as old as Edwin will be when Jose is twice as old as Edwin was when Jose's age was half the sum of their present ages. Edwin is as old as Jose was when Edwin was half the age he will be 10 years from now. How old is Jose? So, ang naiintindihan ko lang sa una kong basa ay Jose, Edwin, Jose. So, tingnan natin. Pa paano, ba, paano ba natin itatake yung ganyang klaseng problem na sa unang basa pa lang para nakakalito? So, kailangan lang word for word, sentence per sentence. Mag-concentrate muna tayo dito sa first sentence, sa first part ng problem. Sabi niya, Jose is as old as Edwin will be, future, when Jose is twice as old as Edwin was, a past, when Jose's age was half the sum of their present ages. So, sulat natin dito, so we have present, future, tsaka past. Tignan natin mga pinag-uusapan, ha? Sabi, Jose, so for sure, pinag-uusapan dyan, nandyan sa topic yung, ay nandyan sa problem, yung age ni Jose, tsaka ni Edwin in the present. Ano pa yung pinag-uusapan na age? Jose is as old as Edwin will be. Edwin will be, so yung age niya in the future, after ilang years. Walang nakalagay. So, lagay na lang natin na E plus X. This is Edwin's age X years from now. So, kung tumanda siya ng X years, syempre, si Jose tatanda rin ng X years. Ang ginagawa lang natin dyan, ina-identify lang natin muna lahat ng uh, given sa problem. Will be when Jose is twice as old as Edwin was. So, pinag-uusapan na rin pala dito yung past. So, hindi natin, hindi naman sinabi kung ilang years yung, kung ilang years ago. So, lagay natin E minus. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin X kasi hindi natin sure kung pareho lang ba yung pinag-uusapan na years from now dun sa years ago. So, again, when Jose's age was half the sum of their present ages. So, nalagay na natin yung mga parameters. Nandiyan yung present age nila, future age, at saka past age. Ngayon, take natin sa sentence per sentence. A part per part per part ng sentence. Jose is as old as Edwin. Will be. Jose is as old as Edwin will be. Is, Jose is present. As old as equals Edwin will be E plus X. X years from now. Kailan yung X years from now? That same X years from now is when Jose is twice as old when Edwin was. When Jose is twice as old as Edwin was. Jose is as old as Edwin will be. So, yung age daw ni Jose ngayon is kasing tanda nung magiging age ni Edwin. Magiging age niya is A plus X. Kailan? Nung ang age ni Jose, when Jose is twice, ito yun eh. Bakit ito yung pinag-uusapan, sir? Kasi diba, pinag-uusapan na dito sa transition na to is yung age ni Edwin sa future. Edwin will be when Jose. So at the same time, nung ang age ni Jose, which is J plus X, is twice as old as Edwin was. So, J plus X. And then, dahil was ang pinag-uusapan, balik tayo sa past. Pero two times. Twice as old as Edwin was. 
Again, hindi natin alam ilang years ago. Next, when Jose's age, was half the sum of their present ages. So, saan tayo naiwan kanina? Di ba, nandito na tayo sa ah, past. As old as Edwin was, nung age ni Edwin ay E minus Y, ano yung age ni Jose? J minus Y. When Jose's age, which is J minus Y, was half, one half, the sum of their present ages, which is J plus E. So now, you get the equations. 1, 2, J, E, X, Y. You have three equations for unknowns. Tignan natin yung next part ng problem. So, yan na. Meron tayong equation. Uh, 1, 2, at saka 3. Proceed tayo dun sa next part ng problem. Sabi niya, Edwin is as old as Jose was. When Edwin was half the age, she will be 10 years from now. How old is Jose? Edwin is as old as Jose was. When Edwin was half the age ago, he will be 10 years from now. So, sabi, dito, Edwin is as old as Jose was. Hmm. Ito ba yun? Ito kayang pinag-uusapan dito dahil was? Hindi. Kasi this is another scenario. Dito scenario to, sabi, Edwin is as old as Jose was. Edwin, tignan natin, Edwin is as old as Jose was. Ano yung Jose was? Ano yung age na to? Hindi natin alam. So, lalagay natin ng past number 2. This is past 1. Sabihin natin, this is J minus J. Dahil J minus J yan, this is E minus J. So, again, Edwin is as old, present ni Edwin. Edwin is as old as Jose was, J minus J. When Edwin, so nandito pa rin tayo sa past number 2, when Edwin was half the age, she will be 10 years from now. So, sulat natin. When Edwin was half the age, he will future be 10 years from now. So, again, Edwin is as old as Jose was. Edwin is as old as Jose was. Pero at, that, at this same period, which is minus the years, Edwin was half the age. So, yung age down ni Edwin, which is E minus J, in that period, was half the age. He will be 10 years from now. So, dapat meron pa pala tayo ditong future number 2, which is plus 10 years. E plus 10. And the question is, how old is Jose? So I think we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 unknowns. We have J, E, X, Y, J. And then we also have 5 equations. This is your equation 4. Equation 5. That means napalitaw na natin mga equation na kailangan natin. That means kaya na natin isolve ito. Solve na natin. So okay yan, magic. Nilipat ko sa kabila. So, solve natin tong first part which is from the first sentence, second part from the second sentence. So, we have two sentences, we have two scenarios, and we also have two major unknowns, Jose at saka Edwin. So, ang goal natin dito sa gagawin natin for algebra is, ma-reduce natin ito into one equation, and then ito into another equation, and then both equations will only have two unknowns, para we have two equations, two unknowns. And ano yung mga unknown na yun? 
I think we can both agree that they should be Jose at saka Edwin kasi yun naman ang tinatanong. So, gusto natin mawala dito yung x at saka y. So, from equation 1, gawin natin x equals j minus e. Para masubstitute natin dito sa equation 2. And then, dito sa y, para matanggal na rin natin yung y, itong equation number 3, gawin natin, uh, so, di ba natin yung 2, magiging siyang 2j, and then minus 2y, uh, yung 2j, minus d, j, that is j, negative e, j minus e. So, magiging itong j minus e over 2 equals y. Okay, simpleng transposition lang yun. J minus E over 2 equals to Y. And then, these two equations, we substitute sa equation number 2. J plus X, so we have J plus X, but X is J minus E, equals 2 times E minus Y. But Y is J minus E over 2. 2. Sorry. So, this is 2J minus E. This is equal to, ano, simplify na natin. 2E. 2 times 2. Cancel, cancel. We have negative J. We have positive E. And then we go. Lipat natin yung uh, E lahat sa kabila. We have neg, uh, no, sorry, yung 2j muna. We have 2j. Hindi pa natin yung negative j. Magiging positive j. We have 3j. And then, ito namang e. Negative e. Hindi pa natin ito sa kabila. Magiging negative 2e. So, meron kang negative 3e. And then, lipat natin ito sa kabila. Meron kang negative e. So, negative 4e equals 0. Or we could say that 3j equals 4e. So, this is your equation Sabihin natin, star. Dalawa na lang unknown, J at saka E. So, ito gawin natin rin na yung unknown niya is J at saka E. Very easy. J equals J minus E. Okay? So, substitute it here. We have E minus J. E minus J, but J is J minus E. Equals 1 half. E plus 10. So, ngayon lang ako nag-simplify. No? So, later on, sa mga iba nating topic, when I gave you already the equation, I would expect na na-practice yun na paano mag-solve ng 2 equations, 2 unknowns, 3 equations, 3 unknowns. So, I leave you with that. So, tuloy. E minus J plus E equals 1 half E plus 5. Kasi, I can say that this is E minus J plus plus E, so this is 2E minus J equals 1 half uh, E plus 10. Ilipat natin yung 2 sa kabila. I-multiply natin both sides by 2. This becomes 4E minus 2J equals E plus 10. Uh, and then, kuha tayo ng konting space dito. We have 4E, ilipat natin to minus E. We have 3E. We have 3E Minus 2J equals 10. So now, we all, uh, tawagin natin tong equation moon. We only have equation star and equation moon. From equation star, we have 3J is equals to 4E. Or we can conversely say, dahil Edwin ang ina, ah, dahil Jose ang hinahanap, equate natin siya into Edwin. So, E is equals to 3 fourth J. Substitute natin to dito kay equation moon. Uh, so, E is equals to 3 fourth J. We have 3 E, but that is 3 fourth J, minus 2 J equals Ten. Further simplify, this is 9 over 4j minus 2j equals 10. And then we can go that j 
is now equal to, using your calculators, 40. So that, thank you. Thank you sa pakikinig and hopefully may natutunan kayo. Now it's very easy just to solve for E. Thank <laughs> you.